Hi, everyone. It's Miss Branch again, and we're going to draw an otter. That's our old word, our old animal. So let me go ahead and switch cameras so we can get started. All right, so our O is going to be the otter's head. So get what you need to draw with, and we're going to get started. Let's see. I'm going to draw a good size O for my otter's head. All right, so now an otter, let me get some picture, show you some pictures. Of course, you know I got to share my screen and show you some pictures I got some ideas from. So share. All right, so here we have an otter. And look, they have tiny ears and really dark eyes. So we just need to make little tiny O's for their eyes. Then their nose kind of looks like a diamond shape. And look, he's got little chubby cheeks. And he's, uh, he's sucking on his foot, um, um, sucking his top lip in. And this one, I think this is the one I really drew from. One of them, there's his, oh, where's the one that he had his paws? I think it was that one again, because he had his paws closed on his belly. And there was no, there was another one because it had the whole body. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, this is a good one. Okay. And then long feet. So that's how come um, in my other picture, you'll see we draw the feet kind of long. And notice how their face fur is lighter than the rest of the fur on their body. So the face fur is lighter, and then the rest of the body has darker fur. Oh, this this one, they have some dark fur on top. And then the bottom half of their face is light fur. But anyway, I'm going to stop sharing. So when we come to our otter, we're going to make them tiny little ears. Then we got to color their face lighter. I tried to make their nose a diamond shape. I think I might try something a little different than the one we draw. And then uh, um, their little cheeks and the mouth and whiskers. And they like to float on their back a lot. So let's go ahead and get ready to finish the rest of the picture. So we have our O. And let's see. We had that like little diamond shape for the nose. So it's like a triangle. Hmm. And then I'm going to bring in that triangle to make a diamond. And I'm going to make a little um, extra diamond there. Well, that's like where the nostrils were. So then I'm going to go ahead and color that in. And then give it little tiny beady eyes. Little O's. And then color those in. And let's see. And let's make a C shape on one side for the cheek. We're going to make another C shape on the other side for the cheek. And we could draw some whiskers, some long, some short. And let's see, let's come up here and little tiny C's for the ears, little tiny C's. And I'm assuming their ears are small so that it doesn't get that much water in them since they live, spend so much time in the water. Oh, and we can add in like a little lip part down, down here for the mouth. And now let's work on the body. So the body is going to be like a big sideways C or most of a U. So like a big long U. And we don't come all the way up because we're going to leave some room for where the tail is going to go. Now, let's see. We're going to draw the first paw. And I'm just going to draw a curved line like I'm going to make a fancy P, letter P. But I'm not going to finish that off. And make it touch. Because I'm going to bring a line down for the rest of the arm. There's the rest of the arm. And let's just give us some um, toes or fingers. I did three lines. Normally I just do two. Like for when we're drawing a cat. And let's see. I'm going to give it a little bit of belly. And I'm going to do a, another little curved line. For the other fingers. The other one. The other paw. That's on the other side. And let's see, let's draw the back legs first before I bring the rest of the body down. So let's see, I'm going to draw like a letter C. 
And we saw in the picture that they had like long feet. So to make it look like a long foot, I'm just going to draw a little straight line inside that C. I probably could have curved it a little, but it's okay. And then some toes. I'm going to go ahead and bring the rest of that belly down. And I'm going to do a, a, like the top part of this C is like a curve and a line. So I'm going to do that right here so you can see the other foot. And then maybe one or two toes. And then I'm going to keep this line going all the way down for the tail. And then I'm just going to curve it right here. Like a little backward C. And bring it back to the body. So there we have our floating otter on his back. But right now he's just floating in space because we need to add some details. We're going to add some lines for the water. And I did the clouds like I did in the... um narwhal picture just giant clouds way off in the distance and they're so far away that they look like they're touching the water so let's see mm, some wavy lines and it's okay if your wavy lines go over your otter because he's in the water and now if you want to add clouds i just did big giant ones But feel free to add some that's like just way off in the sky if that makes you feel better. And so there, now we have our space. So now I'm going to get a light brown crayon. Or if you don't have a light brown crayon, you can just color lightly with your brown crayon. Matter of fact, I'll do that. I had a reddish brown, but as we saw that um, we can make, um, there were some dark brown um, otters too. So it doesn't have to be that reddish brown color. So as you see, I'm coloring lightly with my brown crayon. And now for the body, I'm going to color harder so I get a darker color. You know, I like to color with the bottom because it could go faster if I color with the bottom versus coloring with the top. So that's what I'm going to do. Color with the bottom of my crayon here and if you want to add a little shadow i'm going to just go in a little darker All right, so now I need to do my water. Of course, I have my blue, and I'm going to use the bottom. But first, before I use the bottom, I'm just going to trace some of these water lines. And those I'm going to press down hard. And now, now, you know what? I probably should be doing with wavy lines instead of straight lines so I get the feel of water and it's okay if you go over top of your otter because he's in the water And let's see, a lighter blue for my sky. And I'm going to use the bottom again. And I'm going to press down kind of hard so you can see it. Because I've noticed that in my videos, when I use the light blue, it doesn't show up very good on the camera. So I'm going to press down just a little harder with this light blue. I think I broke it. It's all right. Crayons break, but you can still use them. All right. And there 
is our otter. Otter made from the letter O, the head. All right, so let me switch cameras. Uh, all right, everyone. So that was our O video. Um, next after O comes Q, and no, N O P Q P. So I keep ah oh, messed up the alphabet. So P comes next, but we've already done a panda and a parrot. So I'm gonna come up with something that starts with P, something easy and something that you can have fun with. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.